Rudd is there. Rudd has drafting help now with Robert Presley as they're still side by side out the back stretch. Robert Presley tucks in behind Rudd. They try to advance, but Rudd will stay dead even with Grissom through the corner. Still side by side off turn four. Now there is a distinct gap of two groups of cars. The front car breakaway now is pulled away maybe a half a second on Jimmy Spencer who rides back there in 11th position. He gets out of that draft as they work back into turn number one at about 28th spot as they swing off down to turn number one. Joe Moore, that's where some hard racing is going on and John Andretti is one of those trying to get out of that and move to the front. Andretti's one of those trying to use that inside lane to make the pass. He stuck the nose of his Ford down there a couple of times to look for an opportunity. Hasn't seen it yet for now. He'll kind of cool his heels and fall back in line behind Jeff Hodine. One car is loose off the back straightaway. Flipping down the back stretch. It is Robert Presley. The car broke loose off turn two. Spun went up in the air. Slammed back down into the ground and now rolls down on the back straightaway on the grass. Caution for the first time in the Daytona 500. Terry Labonte's car smoking heavily in turn four. Perhaps some damage from the incident that got Robert Presley turned around and up in the air as Dale Earnhardt comes to the yellow flag. Let's go back to the back straightaway and Joe Moore. Robert Presley working his way off turn number two. Looked like he lost a little bit of uh, downforce possibly coming off the banking. The back end slipped out. He tried to gather it back in. Suddenly it became airborne. Almost flipped over. But then the air flaps flapped up on the top of the car bringing it back down onto the ground. He spun around a couple of times, winds up against the inside retaining wall here on the back straightaway. And Presley is getting out of the car under his own power. We'll take a look at it. Took a scary ride over there, but it has put us under caution for the first time this afternoon, and the caution is on the field at lap number eight. We're under caution for the first time in the Daytona 500. The yellow flag waving at lap number nine when Robert Presley got sent for a scary ride off of turn number two. Looked like coming off the corner, his car slid up the racetrack, bounced off Terry Labonte's, and that threw him back toward the inside of the racetrack where he did literally a somersault in the air, landing on all four wheels. Robert has climbed from the car. We will hear from him shortly. From the Daytona International Speedway, this is MRN Radio.